Hi guys, this is Ben Morton and in this video I want to talk to you about how if we're not careful some of our habits and routines can actually start to work against us even if we think they are healthy, productive, high performance routines or habits. To explain what I mean, let me share a story with you. For many years, my morning routine that I had was to get up relatively early, around 6 a.m. I would try and do some sort of movement for five or 10 minutes. That could be a very, very quick, short run. It could be some stretching or yoga. After that, I'd try and sit and do 10 minutes of mindfulness using one of the apps that's available. And then after that, I would spend 10 to 15 minutes sitting by myself quietly with my journal, doing some gratitude practice, reflecting on the wins and learning from the previous day and planning out my sort of main efforts and key tasks for the coming day. After that, generally the family would be getting up and I'd be getting ready for work and getting on with my day. And that had been my morning routine, my habit, my ritual, my process for many, many years. And then about five months ago, as a family, we got a dog. We rehomed a beagle. And suddenly my morning routine was blown out of the water. It just simply wasn't possible every morning because some days I was taking the dog for the walk. Other days, kind of my wife would be getting up early, taking the dog for a walk, which ruined, in inverted commas, my little bit of quiet time in the morning. What that did is, if I'm honest, it flew me into a bit of a spin, created quite a lot of negativity where I was struggling because I couldn't do my morning routine and it was bad and it was a disaster and it just wasn't, wasn't working. Now, the point in sharing this story is I was holding on so tightly to my morning routine and habits. And when it had to change, I really struggled to adapt. So our morning routines, our behaviours, our habits, all of these things that we do, they really should be there to serve us, to help us be better. And when they start to become our master or when it becomes a stick to beat ourselves with, or when we start to get frustrated and some negativity arises because we can't do or we can't run our morning routine or habit, then it starts to become really, really unhelpful. So now I think um, an analogy, a way to think about this is imagine you've been to a zoo and you've walked through um, a rare butterfly enclosure. And as you are leaving the butterfly enclosure, you've stepped outside, you spot a butterfly and you know because you read about it inside that it's a really, really rare butterfly. There are no butterfly keepers or zoo keepers around. You think, oh, I'm going to put this back in the butterfly house. Now, if you take that butterfly, if you hold it too tightly, you'll crush it and you'll kill the very thing you're trying to protect. If you pick the butterfly up and you hold it too loosely, the butterfly is going to fly away and escape and you'll lose the butterfly, the thing you're trying to protect and save. So the same is true with our habits. If we hold on too tightly to them, if we're too rigid, they can start to work against us. If we're too loose and we don't have habits, structures, routines, we'll lose our way and we won't be as effective and perform as highly as we possibly could. So yes, have routines and habits. Yes, try and build them and develop them and run the routines and habits every day. But don't become a slave to them. Don't let them become your master. And if things change, as they have in my world since we got Sadie the Beagle, then just find a new way. Find a new way or a new habit that works for you. Keeping the best bits of the old one, but making it fit into your life. And the final point here is be really wary of what you think you should do. There are so many stories of what high performing people out there in the world do and their routines and habits that might not work for you. So take the principles of them, try them, test them, make them your own, but make them your own. That's it for this video, folks. Hope it's been useful. See you again soon and lead on.